My view board has the ability to import or open your Google Slides and PowerPoints and make them interactive. Now, in order to do this, you need to be able to one, sign into my view board and make sure that your cloud storage like Google Drive or OneDrive are both connected or bound to your my view board account. If that sounds like jargon to you or you don't understand, just go back a few videos and find the videos about how to sign into my view board and also how to connect your Google Drive or OneDrive, but those need to happen first. I'm already signed in. I'm gonna find my main toolbar and choose the magic box icon. Magic box is your import tool. I'm gonna choose Google Drive and then it's a double tap to go into my folders. And we're just gonna find a presentation here that we can import. And what happens is it's going to download this presentation and then give me a preview so I can pick which pages I wanna bring in. I'm gonna go ahead and choose select all. Now you're gonna notice there's an option to import as object or background. If you choose import as object, which is the default setting, that's how it's interactive. You'll get all these interactive objects out of it. If you choose background, then it's just a plain still image or background and you'll lose the interactivity. So we're gonna choose the orientation as landscape and you'll see here it imported page one. I can use my navigation to go to page two and you'll notice that all of my content is editable. So for example, this is a text box. I can move it around with my select tool. If I tap it twice, this opens up my text editor so I can go adjust text. Images you can move. But things like hyperlinks will also be there. So for example, if I click on this, you'll notice that it remembers the linked page in my presentation. So if I press that uh, number there, it'll jump to that page. You'll also notice that uh, if I had something like a YouTube video embedded, that that YouTube video will also embed into my view board. And the cool thing about YouTube videos in my view board is when you play a video, it skips the ads. Now, one of the things that you'll also notice is that in my text boxes here, so this is a large text box, there's blue spots where there were hyperlinks. Unfortunately, the software cannot open hyperlinks if there's multiple in one text box. However, if you have one hyperlink in one text box, our software has the ability to open that link into the embedded browser and treat it normally. So if you have an activity where kids are supposed to drag and sort, uh, this is a great way to make it interactive. Uh, if you wanna be able to bring in things like your YouTube videos, or if you have links to websites, assuming they're not all in one text box, uh, this is a great way to take that content that normally just used to, you go through the slides and click through it. Now it can be interactive. And of course, don't forget, Whenever you write or you import something into my view board, it's sticky or stays when you're writing and annotating.